Today I'm going to be going over a client acquisition strategy that all of you guys can use. It costs barely any money, but it's a perfect way for you guys to stand apart, to stand out in this crowded space. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a client acquisition strategy that all of you guys can use. It costs barely any money, but it's a perfect way for you guys to stand apart, to stand out in this crowded space. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Elliot Drake. I run a marketing agency called House of Influence. I'm a 19 year old entrepreneur and this channel is to give back and to just teach you the stuff that I'm learning on my journey and all the different things that you know I've already experienced and what I'm learning from all my mentors. So let's jump into it. So this strategy is called strategic mail. And what you're gonna do is, you know, this is given that you've already picked your niche and you have a target business that you want to go uh, and sell your services to, right? So it could be anything, whatever you guys are doing, this is just a general client acquisition strategy, whatever you, like whenever you're selling services to other businesses, it could be advertising, you know, you could be selling your own consulting, whatever it is. And the strategy behind this is what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna prepare a letter for whoever the prospective business is. So say that uh, the prospect that I am looking for in my niche is dentist, right? And so in my area, I go on Google and I look up a dentist office, I mean doctor's office that is close to me. And so I figure out their website I look at their site and what I do is I, <clears throat> I create a audit of what they're doing wrong, right? So what you should do is you should go and create an audit of exactly the issues that they are doing wrong and how you can help them. And so you're gonna make that in video format, right? I talk a lot about this in my program that I'm building right now <clears throat> and actually give you examples, but I can just teach you guys now and you guys can go and do it and get creative. This is just to spark kind of, you know, uh, an idea in your head for different ways. And so you create a little video and you tell them what they're doing wrong and how you can help them. And so you place that, you can either use Soapbox or you can use you know, a screen share video and then upload it to YouTube, right? You can do either way, just take an audit and then put it online of some kind with a link and an address that they can type in and then find it. You can even do it on a landing page, whatever you guys feel you know, comfortable doing. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna create a little flyer. And so depending on whatever your niche is, you're gonna have a catchy title and you're gonna label it the name of the business that it is, right? So if it's, let's say it's Indy's number one doctor's office, it's the name of the business. And so what I would do is, on the title of that poster, that little letter, it's like a printout, you can go in Google Docs and write this up. The title would be uh, Indy's number one doctor's office and then blank a catchy title that catches their attention. Like, hey, you are missing out on some creative ways uh, to, you know, increase your online sales or what, whatever your catchy title is that goes to your market, right? And then in the bottom, you just write a note to the business owner that says, hey, uh, you know, I'm just reaching out because I saw a lot of things that you guys are doing wrong, whether it's on Facebook or whether it's on SEO. Uh, if it was like SEO, you can be like, hey, well, uh, 50,000 people search for doctors in India on Google and your page was nowhere to be found and this is a problem and then you tell them what the issue is and then you have a screenshot of the quick audit so the audit of the, the video you made screenshot that which should be like a cover of their uh, their website so it looks personal put that screenshot inside the little poster which is going to be a printout piece of paper right it's going to be a printout piece of paper all right, what's up guys? So I decided just to make this little example for you in the middle of this video. Uh, so I just threw this together really quick. So like I said, catchy title, this is the name of the business that I used here with a little like your marketing is lacking uh, and you're nowhere to be found. 
And then did you know that 50,000 people search Google doctors and in Indian website nowhere to be found? So you show a screenshot of like, you know, whatever the issue is, you're missing out on SEO. I have personally prepared a quick audit to fix it. And then this picture is a screenshot of wherever you uploaded it. So if you uploaded it to YouTube, just take a picture of where it's uploaded. You can be on a landing page. And then one thing that I didn't add here just for the sake of the video is, you know, if you prepare this quick audit, whatever the issue you're trying to solve, do a detailed like written analysis of what is wrong and why they're losing out on money and why they you know, need your service. And then uh, right here on the first page, you'll just want to say flip to the next page to see your free uh, video audit. And then you'll put the link here and have them type that in and then make sure that you put uh, your name, a picture of you, your name, your email. Uh, and then your phone number here as well, right? So make sure that you do all that. And then um, this is gonna be your printout. And so just, just since I'm on my screen share right now, an example of some lumpy mail stuff that is an example, this is a great site that you guys can use, 3dmailresults.com. Uh, they have a bunch of these different items. But whatever your piece of lumpy mail is, it should tie into whatever your you know your title is. So make it something catchy that goes with the item that you put in there. Uh, you're gonna finish this video, I'm gonna talk more about that, but here's like a little example. Learn how to preserve um, preserve the life of your practice, right? So this is an example of lumpy mail where they put this little life thing in and they sent this into doctors and they probably had a little audit in there of what the doctors are doing wrong, right? All right, so let's jump back into the rest of the video. And then you just write some more insightful things of what they're doing wrong and why it's hurting their business. And so then, then you're gonna have another page which, hey, I actually created a personalized note, a personalized training video on how you could fix this. And uh, he's like, and then you write in there, even if you guys don't wanna go with me, uh, these are some critical things that you guys would like to need. So this is adding value first to the business, right? So we're gonna send this letter into the business and so make sure on the next page that you include the link so if like you put in there if you would like to go and check out our training video please type in the link below which could be a youtube link whatever right uh, and put that on the piece of paper and so what we're going to do is we're going to print off that <coughs> google doc so it's a piece of paper <clears throat> and then we are going to find something that we can put inside whenever we mail it. So we're gonna mail this piece into that business. And so it's gonna be in a little letter, but we wanna find some type of item that is unique, right? Uh, that we can put inside of that package so then it stands out. Because, uh, because if we put it inside of there and it stands out and it's like a little item, then it gets on top of the mailing pile. And also it's a good way to get past the gatekeeper, which a gatekeeper is a person that is in front of you to be able to get to the business owner, right? So it's the receptionist at the front of the doctor's office that takes in all the mail. So whenever you put a small little cool item in there, it looks personal and looks like something that, you know, the receptionist doesn't need to open. And then another strategy that you should use with that is you should handwrite the address and then put just your first name on it. So then it looks like a personal letter, it looks like something personal, so then the gatekeeper might not feel like they should open it, and you know, then they'll just send it to the business owner, and then whenever they open it, it can be something unique, like you know, uh, you know, nobody is finding you with your, your search results or whatever, and it could be like, say, a magnifying glass, or you know, we, we've used socks, we've used like custom face socks, where like we find the business owner from their LinkedIn profile and then print on their socks. We use a company called Hootsuite, which is uh, Brandon Agronoff, who's one of my buddies. Uh, he's, an, he's, he's amazing, you should look up his company. But you can go there and have custom socks made, which is super unique and cool. Uh, but just some type of item, you can find it on Amazon, type in Lumpy Mail. Uh, there's websites that just are for this strategy of you know having unique things to put inside of these little letters. but. That is a strategy you can do, and it's so powerful because it's a way to stand out from your crowd. And so you're automatically going to impress that business owner right away because they're gonna be impressed by how personalized, you know, how personalized the letter is and how personalized like 
it is like the strategy that you use to get in front of them and get their attention, right? So this is just a unique strategy that you guys can use whenever you're on your journey to land, you know, social media marketing clients, or if you're trying to land consulting gigs, whatever kind of client acquisition that you're trying to do, strategic mail is a perfect way for you guys to do that. And so thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions about this strategy, then you know, hit me up, leave in the comments below. I might make a more in-depth video, but you know, I'm putting the more in-depth stuff inside of my training, uh, which I've been working on for months. And yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed, if you're not part of the family yet, please hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you can see whenever I upload. I upload everything from you know online business and you know how to start a social media marketing agency. And we're trying to grow this thing. This channel is for you. So in the comments below, leave, you know, what if you're having some issues in your business, let me know and I can make a video about it to help you guys out. So this has been Elliot Drake, and I will see you guys in the next one.